Welcome back everyone. Let's play World of Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 2930. I don't remember. It's round two, fight. So we've done really well in the first round, uh, first battle, part of this battle. We still have to pull together uh, some kind of miracle of torpedo avoidance and when their carriers actually launch their naval airstrike forces. Um, We've done really, really well against their dreadnoughts, which is partly because their dreadnoughts are are pretty poor. Not not a whole lot. <laughs> we weren't expecting a whole lot more from the Russians anyway, so it, it was good to see that they were true to form. Um, and our heavy cruisers, unfortunately, in there were thwarted in their attempt to chase down the enemy carriers because they actually have a battleship escort for the carriers. Which is surprising, especially because this is not the fastest ship anyway. Um, but that's fine. We'll just um, our our strategy now is kind of brute force, just kick down the door and go take them. We're at, no, we don't need to do any Rainbow Six sneaking from the back entrance or whatever. We're just going right at them. Uh, this is going to be more your typical action game. No brains, just go in there with big guns and kill. Uh, that's that's what it is in principle at least. Okay, so <laughs> I'd love to see this. Very good first minute of our of our battle here. Oh boy, battle division has spotted enemy aircraft. Not a moment too soon, huh? One sec. Why did I say a moment too soon? I I didn't mean it that way. I meant more like it. You know, we just started the episode and here they already are. <laughs> oh boy. Man, they just, just when we thought things were going well. Now, this was expected anyway, but hopefully they go after my heavy cruisers. I doubt it. Um, what battle cruiser are you going after? See, this is the problem with loading the game. Some of the identifications are lost in between battles, or in between uh, game, se game sessions. It's just not one of the things which is stored in the same game file, I guess. It's just only stored memory, and then it's recalculated when you jump back into the game, sometimes completely differently, usually less identification than previously. That's okay. So we're still chasing, well, I guess we're kind of chasing these carriers away. Obviously, they already launched their aircraft since we're seeing aircraft, although I'm not actually seeing aircraft. I actually started to look for a blue dot somewhere, but I don't see it, which I'm interpreting as not a good thing. Maybe... Yeah, these torpedoes keep fooling me, but no, I don't see them. Oh yeah, the panther, that's right. She took kind of a kind of a beating before we pulled her off her uh, torpedo run against the gangoot. Um, okay, so we had a turret top... Wait. Turret B, yeah, I always see B and I think belt, but no, this is turret B, turret top hit. Uh, now, turret tops and our turrets in general are very well armored. This may not even cause turret B to be, yeah, it doesn't look like it's even going to cause turret B to be um, temporarily disabled, which is good. Um, in response, we have hit the Nyaz Potemkin. She's probably seen better days. I'm seeing what? Is that one destroyed turret? No, okay. No no destroyed turrets there. She apparently is not firing at us. Maybe she's also having a hard time identifying things. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this Poltava is dead. Um, she's on fire. She's got two turrets which have been completely destroyed. Um, she's still doing okay in terms of she's not claiming to have been sunk. She's still making, well, 10 knots is pretty darn slow. If she goes down to speed zero, we know for sure she's dead. Oh, and gosh, I need to remember to stop any future torpedo launches. This is something which is also not saved. It's only, it's just, you have to, it's reset upon loading the game. Okay, let us carefully move forward here. Perpinets took some more hits. That's actually a good one. Um, yeah, we do see that one of her turrets, maybe just right now was destroyed if it wasn't, if it, maybe I missed it and it was Oh, no, 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 yeah, the Potemkin's the one that has all of her turrets available. These are very similar classes. 
Um, lots of armor on those belts, but that turret is very low armored, so we, yeah, well, we're gonna find the weakness, I guess. We'll fire enough 16 shells around to hit whatever the weakness is. Uh, I don't, I didn't want to change course because we were landing so many hits so frequently, but that first, this is the first time we went in, in a couple of minutes. We didn't land too many hits. Although we are hitting the one vessel, which appears to be like not completely in bad shape. We know the Gangoot was lagging behind. It's probably not in good shape, but maybe it is fine. I think we already hit the Gangoot, or was that... No, I, yeah, I don't remember. Okay, anyway, we'll just continue to push minute by minute. And now the Potemkin's suffering. Oh, yeah, she does. Just like that. <laughs> You know, we said just a moment ago, she's doing fine, she's got all her turrets, and just like that, we knock out two turrets in in the same volley. That's incredible. I suppose it's possible that one of these hits did not hit the turret, because there is a, um, there is a uh, gameplay mechanic where one hit can destroy two turrets. I would expect it would be the super firing turrets, because those would be probably more linked Could, with these. I actually don't know how the cr um, cross deck fire like wing turrets worked. Did they share a magazine with the other forward turrets? It could be because I believe didn't the Atlanta's three guns in the front share a magazine? I don't know. I, I really don't remember. Okay. So I, I actually don't know at all. So take back any comment about the Atlanta. I don't know if they shared a gun magazine or not. Okay. Right. Anyways, um, just keep moving forward. Yeah, she's getting drilled. This is all good news for us. We are going to round the corner, head back south. All we need the uh, cruisers to do here then is just keep the enemy forces to the east. In fact, I, I guess that this is the moment in time where we need to start curling south. And since we haven't been hitting all that much anyway, not a bad time to do it. This will unfortunately put us in the line of fire of torpedoes from the Vidovi here. Let's see what she has to offer. She has four above water torpedoes. I imagine all four of them are probably coming our way. Torpedo ranges, yeah, we're within half I mean, of our maximum range. So that I'm sure that their torpedoes are at least out to this range. Probably much more. But yeah, we've done a good, a good number on these guys. Just need to switch over to the Gangoot soon enough. But for now, we don't need to. Uh, I don't want my heavy cruisers to run into the Gangoot at the same time. I'm trying to slow down the heavy cruisers, have them save a little bit of their steam. We're not even going squad max right now, so I think we will kick it up to squad max. Okay, this is run one minute. Okay, good. Oh, now the Bedovi's getting hit. Well, she is making her run, which is not surprising. I gave them a little glimpse of an angle. We will pull back out. So we're not hitting anyway, so it's basically the perfect time to do any maneuvering we need to do. Oh, okay. So and you can see, just as soon as we begin our, our maneuvering, the Gangoot dials in the range. She's actually maneuvering quite a lot too, so I would consider this a, probably a lucky thing. But in the meantime, our Von Helms clam has uh, started to put the heat on the Gangoot. It's, uh, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything about it. But putting the pressure on would be good. Dovi taking a few hits here. Four inch guns. Not going to do too much. Six inch guns also not going to do too much. Although we know that both of these ships are in... Uh, well, not that one. Sorry. This one is in bad shape. And now, thanks to a little bit of love at the very end. There she is. There's the Poltava. This is the one which I imagine is dead. Two turrets down, a fire. She's almost come to a stop. In fact, it's probably a good target for the Panther. We'll bring the Panther back in. She's already going to her squad of max. And even our heavy cruisers are probably going to be in position to launch a few torpedoes. So as soon as the Bedovi pulls away, and she has, we'll make our run. And this might also be the time for us to make our run with our destroyers. I think I'm not going to go full on squad max, not yet. We'll get up to like 26. This will also act as a screen. Um, Gangood has really found the range against the Prince von Salzburg, which is unfortunate, but a little bit of maneuvering here may help us. 
Yeah, the Bedovi has turned back around, seeing that we are <laughs> about to move back in. Um, we're moving in on the Poltava. She's probably dead already, but I don't know if we should even be firing with our guns here. It's a little bit strange. We may not. Well, I'm going to because it will suppress any... Um, it, it does decrease the rate of fire on enemy ships. So there is an advantage doing that. I mean, this Bedovi's just gone around in circles, and in the end, nothing came of it. Okay, we are a line ahead. I don't know what um, the Von Helm's clam is doing, because she keeps maneuvering back and forth wildly, as if she's in line ahead, I mean, line abreast formation, but they are definitely not. Maybe her... Wait, her thing is jammed? Is her rudder jammed? Oh, that's what it was. Her rudder is jammed. Of course. Okay. Um, we're starting to hit the Poltava. If we're hitting her with 9-inch guns, I, I just really don't think that's going to do much. But hey, they're probably high explosive because I... Well, actually, we might get, we might have a chance of penetrating her armor. What's the Poltava? Oh my gosh, only 9 inches. Yeah, we might actually be able to penetrate that. 9 inches of armor. Uh, well, we'd have to be pretty close. About 7,000. And we are at 8... 8600, so it's possible for actually, us to actually penetrate, get a little bit closer, which might as well do then. Panther's coming in for her quote-unquote surprise attack. Not much of one. Uh, and we'll just keep dodging away here. Okay. Oh, Potemkin, Pervinets, suffering another hit. Very good. And the Bedovi. Yeah, actually, this Bedovi is taking these hits. is It's pretty important right now. Uh, there's another battle cruiser out there, and then of course the battleship down in the south. We may even, as soon as von Helm's clam can control her rudder again, uh, we may even want to turn back south because I think that this battle cruiser is actually the only battleship escort. And uh, boy. Okay. Well, we have found the range on the Bedovi, which is good with our five-inch guns now, which are better than the four-inch guns we were targeting her with. Poltava's just getting lit up, which is not surprising. So she's already going down. I think I am going to turn off fire. But, wait, we have no torpedoes. Okay. Well, let's... Um, what's our ammunition situation looking like? 86%. It's pretty good. I mean, the most of the heavy lifting has already been done by the battleships. So what's their ammunition at? Yeah, a lot lower, but not too bad. Do we have enough? I think we have enough ammunition to take them on, all on, even with a little bit of tomfoolery with our heavy cruisers. Just check one more time on that range. We're down to 5,700, so we will be penetrating armor piercing at this point. Okay, fine. Stay, stay the course then. Oh my gosh, okay, wow. And boy, did you. Well, it's going to keep the Poltava from <laughs> doing anything. We're just raking her. Uh, Pervinets takes another 16-inch shell. We want to get as many of these in as possible right now because um, it will decrease their ability to like uh, attack us later. I mean, even if they get away and they aren't sunk, the more damage we can pour on right now makes them less effective at firing later. They'll be listing, you know, they'll be flooding, which will decrease their uh, accuracy and all that. So... Okay, Bedovi taking a couple of hits, which is good. We're not firing torpedoes, which is good. It's, it is possible, by the way, to get hit by a torpedo <laughs> from a destroyer. I mean, being a destroyer, it's very rare. It's difficult, very difficult. But, you know, it's it's possible. And then basically everything else was the was the Poltava getting pummeled. One more Pervinets. Again, it's good stuff. Okay, more Bedovi, Poltava, and Poltava. Yeah, I don't. I think I'm gonna stop firing though at this point. So that's enough. That's enough. That's enough out of you. Slow you back down to 23 knots. Well, I'll say 24. The Panther's gonna come in here and um, finish off the Poltava properly. Although, and yeah, she technically has not gone down. In fact, she's lost all of her turrets except for one. I mean, one is only one of the rear ones is disabled, but. Happens, just so happens the one wing turret she has operational is pointed at my heavy cruisers. 
Good thing for us, it'll be very difficult for it to aim and fire anything. Wow, man, this is turning into very quickly a Russian battleship graveyard. I'm, I'm a big fan. Okay, so we have two battleships over here. One, an, an additional Poltava. And these are undamaged, so they will be very accurate. And then an Imperator Nikolai 26,000. 14 inch, a lot of 14 inch guns, which means probably the, the armor will be light, and that is true. She may have been the, this may have been the aircraft we saw, this was from the float planes. And we're, oh man, we do need to turn back with the armored cruiser, or uh, heavy cruisers, because, yeah, I mean, the carriers are right there. Okay, let's move in. Okay, that Dovi, I believe, is sunk, so let's just turn on the juice and head further south. When Von Helm's clan comes to her senses, or really, more fairly, I should say, gets control of her rudder once more, we'll handle uh, that situation. Stories are moving in. Um, this Gangood is, I suppose, the one that... We, I thought we did any... Maybe we didn't do any damage to her. I can't remember from the first part of the battle. It's always the disadvantage of saving the game and walking away. Uh, okay, that Bedovi's, I think she's dealt with at this point. Pervinette severing another 16 inch shell. She is now on fire as well. So yeah, if we can get the Panther to just very uh, diligently launch a set of torpedoes for each of these three. <laughs> okay, just each of these two, that'd be great. Yeah, we know that Bedovi class is, is dead. I think she's dead, dead. She is. Wish we could target something else. We should target this Bedovi. Let me just actually um, ask them, request that they target the other Bedovi. There. Just encourage that. Provenet's on fire. Okay. So at this point, we also need to, I think we're actually gonna have to manually fire here. Okay, the, that Pervinets, first of all, fantastic barrage of fire. These are 13 inch shells though. I think we're gonna pull back away a little bit and I'm gonna begin manual targeting here, which we can do, we're just gonna do some manual targeting. Um, we'll set, set ship target. So you are going to target the, they're about to collide. Let's have you target the Imperator Nikolai. I don't know how they, uh, they'll probably, uh, I wanna stick with whoever I start targeting. So let's say the Poltava, oop, wrong one. Okay, this Poltava. Oh, there's another, wow. There's quite a lot of ships and that. If that's the case, I don't wanna turn on manual fire. I want them to do it themselves. Okay, our hole was hit, but we, we're staying the course. Tava still being, <laughs> uh, Von Helm's clown, I guess it's been what, more than, uh, must have been more, oh, she separated, so she lost her do not fire command. Gonna turn on your do not fire at all command. Here comes Panther, and for the finishing blow. That might be the angle we need. And it is. We'll just fire one spread of, looks like that was a spread of three. Turn right away, turn right away. We'll turn away right away. That's what I'm trying to say here. There it is. That's enough for, for me to be happy. I wasn't even paying attention to everything else going on while <laughs> in the meantime, we're focused on one single destroyer. Good to see that we're targeting the other Bedovi now. So that's. Honestly, they don't have that many destroyers. Those are the main threats to my battleships. Um, so the Nike is now solo trying to keep containment on the light, crew, uh, light carriers. Okay, Tiger has taken a Tiger uppercut by the Gangoot. And the Cyberneco also taking a, okay, so we don't have to go in that hard. I wanted to do it just to eliminate these like once and for all, but we don't, have to do that. Alternative, oh, 19 knots, you say. Well, that's just not good. Yeah, that's 
That's definitely a sign that we're gonna need to flee. We'll flee back this way, but I, I, okay, so I'm gonna crank it up just to get them out as quickly as possible. Um, I'm also gonna go over to my order of battle and I'm gonna detach whoever is the guilty party here who only has a speed of 19 and I guess it's the tiger. So can you detach? You can, good. So tiger has detached because her speed is apparently very low. Um, that means the other ones could continue to go in even. And we'll send them this way. I don't know what exactly they're gonna be doing. We'll have the tiger also deploy smoke, but she can move maybe back towards the west, towards the panther. Squad max to 19, she's not much she can do. Near miss from the tiger, the gangoot is targeting her. Well, it doesn't show that, but I, I suppose it is true. Uh, and now we're starting to hit the targets that I want to hit. Fantastic. So, Pyrrhur Nikolai 1 has taken her first hit. Since they're such weak ships with just, I mean, they're very under-armored ships for their uh, for the number of guns they have, so yeah, we do need to target those as quickly as possible. Really wish my armored cruisers were closer. I mean, heavy cruisers were closer. In fact, following Helm's Clan, we might even keep you guys separate at this point, since basically you're going to need to be. Uh, light carriers have all pushed back over here. One over there, though. So Tiger can go down here. Oh, man, so... Yeah, don't launch torpedoes. You're in, a better, you're in better shape to get the Pervinets than the Tiger is. So the Tiger will go get the Potemkin and then withdraw. And this group's gonna pull back for my, pull back all the way. Tiger is launching torpedoes. Why? God, I just, well, I mean, hey, if you hit this Bod Bodovi, I think she's already, oh, she's not dead technically. I'm assuming, oh, no, you're actually launching torpedoes at one of these battleships, which is, that's not that bad. Could get lucky. Yeah, Nike, I just should go back up north. In fact, go at 26. What is your speed? Yeah, can you slow down a little bit? Okay, what's going on here? Bidobi's still getting hit. Good job, Tiger. And then we're hitting with our six inch guns. Not that great. But at least we're getting out. Okay. This might be a little bit harder than I thought. So this Potov is definitely sinking. Despite all the damage I've done to this ship, it's still afloat. Likewise with the Pervinets. They're basically just barely hanging on. And we have other fish to fry. I mean, now you can say that this is truly uh, a David versus Goliath type situation. I mean, it's basically like a hundred Davis versus two Goliaths. Uh, so it's, it's not like it's super Goliath favored, but I mean, it's not like it's super David favored, but it is David favored. So in this case, because with the addition of these other battleships, I hadn't really been counting in the first one. I mean, if it was just the first four versus my two, it's about even tonnage wise. I don't know if it's better. We're, we're probably about even. And since I'm controlling the ships, and those are Russian ships, but I mean, if you put these in, like, in the same fleet with the same crew quality, in like a training exercise, I think it's a, a coin toss which of those two comes up ahead. However, given the circumstances, you know, me controlling the ships on my side, uh, AI being the controller of the other side, the fact that that's the Russian side, the crew quality is likely to be poor, all those kind of things. All those things swing at um, advantage Tortuga. So is the Panther actually going to be able to get these, launch these things? Oh, here it comes. So they are getting, okay, so we have torpedo bombers and dive bombers. It's so funny that they have torpedo bombers able to launch. It's been something that has eluded me. We even have a recon airplane out here somewhere. It's funny. Did I launch that? I think I did. So here they come. We're about to do some weird maneuvering anyway, so let's just stay on our present course. Um, do you guys have any dual purpose? I don't think so. 
now. So it doesn't really matter if you're close by or not. Um, really wish we could land some hits before we get demolished by the... Okay, one no bomb hits. Oh, wait. Okay, no no bomb hits in the first wave, and we destroyed an aircraft. That's good enough for me. That was only against three of them. What the hell? Okay. Anyways, in the meantime, we did hit this Poltava class with a six noon shell. I think the Panther is going to have to launch here. I'm going to look at what the better angle is between these two. Okay, it's that, or it's so it's 106. Oh, no, no, not you. Sorry. You or Pervinets. We don't have the Pervinets. This is very strange. Well, if we don't have the Pervinets, then I guess we launch like this. Kind of wish I had the low speed var variety. Nah, it's fine. Just go ahead and do this. But it also shows me I need to move a little bit closer. Let's just get the Panthers load off. Oh, uh, yeah. I knew that they were going to turn right away. Okay. Now, we definitely did not... <laughs> Avoid hits on the second run. Um, a bomb hit the Phoenix's B turret, and it's been disabled, which we see. Um, and another one hit the deck, but we have a massive deck, four inches. Turret top would even be more than that. I'm actually kind of, well, I mean, it's a still bomb hitting, but I'm a little surprised. These are probably like, what, 500 pound bombs at the most? I am a little surprised they're even doing anything to this battleship. I don't know why I was so worried. I'm still worried, definitely worried about torpedoes, but um, thankfully there's more dive bombers than anything else. This was an additional four, and there's three torpedo bombers attacking the seven echo, which is hilarious. Well, that's perfectly okay by me. In the meantime, we hit the Poltava with our six inch shells and Nikolai with just six inch shells. Looks like they're colliding with their light carrier, but I don't think it really means anything. I think I will launch more torpedoes. Oh, yeah, th this is the one. Okay, versus what? Okay, 108 versus 103. I expect that they're gonna turn. So I'm gonna fire at the lower angle. Because if they turn, it means that my torpedoes will need to be fired at a less angle. So one, oh, this is 97 now? And now it's low 97. See, that's, I mean, this is, it's just changing quite a lot. 97, low 103, low 101. Okay, here's a low 97 once again. I think this is the best bet, a lower number, because I think that they are going to make, they're going to maneuver in a way which their total heading will be less south than it is right now. That's my guess. Could be wrong, but we'll go ahead and launch it there. And then the um, Panther, maybe we pull her off and just save the last two, to last torpedo barrage. Okay, good. We're actually starting to hit. Um, another hit, it looks like. No. Four torpedo bombers. Oh, these are still torpedo bomb. No, no, yeah, these are torpedo bombers. They torpedo. Okay, they are torpedo bombing us. It's like, what the heck? Uh, one of them was damaged. Okay, so we don't know the effects yet, but the Prince von Sogberg is. They're just taking a base of action to avoid torpedoes or dive bombers, maybe both. Okay, we're avoiding torpedoes. Prince Alon Salberg does indeed look like she's avoiding torpedoes. It's convincing. Uh, we're not going to be able to do very much damage to this. I mean, uh, do very accurate firing in the midst of this maneuvering. Um, they did, as I guessed, pull away. So these low range ones might actually do it. Okay, Prince Alon Salberg has actually managed to dodge all four torpedoes now. 
fantastic. I suppose the Seven Echo and the Attila up here are also avoiding torpedoes, or in theory at least. Panther's out of guns that bear. She is one of her turrets disabled? Oh, not just disabled, it's destroyed. Oh, here's the Nike. When the hell is this Fem Clums Clum? Like, okay, just go down to 20. Unless you're going the right way, there's no sense in you going quickly the wrong way. Tava. So once again, our battleships are the, the victors of the day. And are the torpedoes going to get there? Tigers gotten a real tiger, tiger uppercut. Ah, uh, okay, nope. Tiger is still going to take some more hits. Panther is getting out of there. I didn't, but I could have, should have, perhaps, launched torpedoes with her on her dying breath. But that was, that was pretty quick. A little bit unexpected. All right, so the Gangood is down here. That's fine, so we'll go east. We're just going to wheel around her. What is this? Recon. Ah, well, I finally rudder repaired. Not that she was listening to me anyway. Okay, so you guys need to merge up again, which means Phoenix has to slow down. Okay, so we're just going to stay the course. We're going to pick our course and just kind of stay on it for a while to try to get some accuracy going again. Six-inch shells are not what I really want. I want more than that. Gonna use the Nike as a decoy as well. I mean the sorry, the Tiger as a decoy as well. The aircraft are still approaching. We need to make sure they don't get another strike off. So I guess we need to go aggressively in there. And I guess that includes with the Panther. Okay, so the wind is out of the it's out of the northwest, which means they're gonna have to go northwest in order to do something with the the ships. Maybe what I should do is cut back towards these damaged battleships in order to prevent. I mean, if I'm in the way, if their carriers have to move towards me to launch, I should be able to just focus fire and destroy them, or at least I can get my um, my heavy cruisers to do that. Let's get you to max speed it. The hell down here. You ding dong. I'm not firing right now, and I think I'm going to start firing again. No point going down with a ship full of ammo. And we are definitely being targeted. Tiger, Attila, damaged splinters. Um, another bomb hit here. Engine room hit on the deck, but hey. No penetration. Fantastic. So, having that thick deck really helps. Oh, it's only 250 pound bombs, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure how much our shells weigh at this point, but they might, 16 inch shells might weigh 250 pounds. Now it's 250 pounds, that's not entirely the cartridge. I mean, that's, you know, uh, more than just the explosive. Whereas 250 pound bomb is basically 250 pounds of bomb of explosive. Light enter. Okay, so we're at least just, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're gonna sink, I at least think we should be able to sink these uh, carriers. So hopefully it doesn't matter whether we destroy or not the, oh, so the Neko's having a hard time, uh, the aircraft. Oh my gosh. Prince von Salzburg has just been peppered with bombs. Um, oh, good. Only one of them hit in a meaningful way, and it was a superstructure hit. Those are still doing all structural damage. It's those torpedo bombers which I'm mostly concerned with. But yeah, I really don't want to suffer through another carrier attack here. So you know what? I think I am going to do what I said. 
We're gonna come back. Oh man, just as I started landing hits on the Poltava. And there's this Dovi, which there it is. Starting to cut back my way. Are we being, ah, uh, they're doing evasive maneuvers so I don't even have control yet. Let's also get you, ah, uh, you don't need to deploy smoke yet. Did get another 16 inch shell hit. I mean, this is really impressive performance from my battleships, really impressive. Oh, man, if only we could get just a small break. Nice. Just a small break in order to just a, a moment's peace. Okay, the permanence is already sinking, so Nike, do not target the permanence. In fact, I will just restrict you from firing again since you're now targeting a, a ship which has no, which there's no point in targeting it. And I think even the Pope Temkin, I'm just looking at how much damage she has with three turrets destroyed. She is a bit bigger, 31,000. It's possible she's not sinking. The only one I'm sure that is not sinking is the Gangoot. We have two which are officially sinking. Hooray! I don't need to get the carriers too. We don't have to, I mean, it's obviously gonna be a very good victory for the, the Austro-Hungarian people, even without sinking a single light carrier right now. But I would like to do it. Okay, six inch shell. Oh, we are landing 16 inch shells still, that's nice. Looks like uh, at least one of those was enough to disable one of her guns. We're turning, this is gonna make any kind of torpedo volley right now pretty ineffective. And once we get on our new course, um, we should have really good, we could just steady up the gun platforms and we could even if we wanted choose to lay into the um, carriers, but so far I don't want to do that. Sabaneko, I'm just using her because she's a, she's a bit damaged. Kind of just using her to, maybe I'll use her to come over here and attack the Gangoot or something. It's kind of like what the Panthers are going to end up doing if I'm not careful. Oh man, we're still taking bomb hits. Two more deck hits, two more inconsequential deck hits, thankfully. So yeah, we really don't care about these, uh, well, I mean, look at the structural damage is adding up. Yeah. Firing ship damage is down to a negative 10 now. So that's... Things are happening. Oh my god, more effing aircraft? All right, we were able to squeeze off two more 16 inch shell hits before the next wave comes. And this is the Prince von Sol Salzburg who's doing most of the work here. Let's swing the Prince von Phoenix north a little bit just because we got this Bidobi right in our face. Swing the Attila south a little bit. Just kind of like compensate for the Bidobi. Yeah, I want you to head right at this Paracop. Gangoot might be a problem though. Okay, we're gonna have to go at the Gangoot. Oh, dive bombers are attacking the Nike. And the Panther is getting grilled here. By what? It is the Gangoot, damn. Another bomb hit on this Von Salzburg. Boy, she's a bomb magnet. I want to sink these light carriers just because I hate them. I hate them all. Nike did take a hit. Oh, that was a superstructure hit from the Gangoot's heavy guns, which are what, 14 inch? Damn. It's not what I want to see. Not what I want to see at all. Are you having a problem? No, okay. It's in, uh, you're evading right now. That's what you're doing. Damn it. So the Panther's in position to launch against the Gangoot. She's, oh, but she's not going to because she has no torpedoes. Fair enough. Which means only the Seven Echo can save us now. This is going to be awkward. <sighs> I don't know where these torpedoes are coming from. The Bedovi... Uh, 
I would like to think it's impossible for her with all our maneuvering to have launched torpedoes in a, in a manner that was able to um, hit us, but it's, it's still possible that those p torpedoes originate from her. There were five torpedo bombers doing torpedo bomb runs on the Phoenix though, and I'm imagining that this is a, yeah, this is probably a torpedo bomber launch torpedo. Now those I'm not so sure about. Max speed is five, oh my god. And now you know why I really, really prefer, really, really, really prefer torpedo defense. So we're gonna have to limp on out of here. Attila, you might have to make a sacrificial run. No, not it's not yet, it's too early for the sacrifice. I have to just try to get out of here with um, what we have. So that Bedovi at least is going to die. I don't. I really wish there was a way to turn on viewing enemy torpedoes when they're launched and stuff, or even to see a replay of whatever happened. That would be so wonderful. Then we would know exactly what happened, and we, you know, any any uh, confusion about potential cheating by the AI and all that would have been dispelled a long time ago. So Panther, come back and you might, we might need you as a decoy. Seven Echo is getting her, sticking her neck right on in there, which is what we potentially need her to do right now. Still landing some hits on this Poltava, which is good. Flooding is down to 139. I think we are gonna survive this. Man, it's funny, she's taking two bombs and Three torpedo hits. Rudder is jam center. That's fine. That's not a bad direction for you to be going. So max speed, max speed. We only got we got 23 knots between the two of them. If you add them together, so 19 knots on the one is our max, and five on the other. Yikes. Nike is now. Oh man, I guess these heavy cruisers are really gonna have to get the job done if we want anybody to do it. Don't think. Seven Echo's gonna get there. So let's have you, you're already deploying smoke. Let's have you deploy smoke. Just really wanna take care of this Bedovi before she launches. I mean, she only has four torpedoes, you'd imagine. <laughs> They've already all been launched, but you never know with the AI, it's always a tricky thing. What exactly do they do? do they get free things, they supposedly do not. But you just, you don't know, that's the thing. Okay, so this Bedovi is taking a lot of hits now. It is a 1500 ton destroyer, it can take a few. So the Nike, I mean, we're all coming back. Bedovi actually took three hits. Just deciding to turn away, it's probably wisely. And we're kind of reconverging in the north. So we have one ship lost so far. Have not been able to take out any of the light carriers, but you know what? If now's not the time, I don't know when is. Manual firing, set ship target. Let's start targeting the Paracop here. Tilla, you can slow down to 20. Give yourself a break for a moment. Um, what are you doing launching torpedoes? I did not say launch torpedoes. There's absolutely no reason for you to launch torpedoes right now. Target straddled, okay. No hits, but we have straddled her. Still waiting for a hit. Von Phoenix is actually still continuing her fire as well. Crazy. This flooding is almost controlled. They are big, big ships. 45,000 tons. <sighs> we want you, Nike, 
to also focus on the pair. Well, maybe you should actually focus on the pair cop and let the Prince von Salzburg target the other one. Okay, we're gonna do it this way. Um, there. Switch over to that. Nike is gonna switch over to the pair cop. Okay, so you can fire now. Pick up the squad max, which, yep, is 27. Begin firing. And we straddled the other one right away. Just need to land a few hits there and we'll be okay. Like he's only gonna be able to fire, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Still taking care of her, she's dead, I guess, at this point. No, still not. Um, but this is fantastic. Two 16-inch shells have just blazed their way through the... Our, what are we firing, though? What, what the heck are we firing? Are we firing high explosive? I hope to God we're firing high explosive. Okay, 52, 53, 56, 58. Let's see what you got. Still getting hit by bombs, I guess. 50, 51, 55, 57. Fantastic, we are firing high explosive. So those two 16 inch shell hits on a high, I mean, high explosive hits on a light carrier, I mean, that's, there's only a 9,000 ton <laughs> vessel. That's, that's something. Nike's trying to catch up to the Paracop to unleash some more shells. Uh, we did. We were able to hit her with another 16-inch shell. Let's just confirm that we are still firing. 48. Yep, firing the high explosive, which is perfect. Because <laughs> I'm thinking about retreating now, and if we retreat, we want to eliminate eliminate the aircraft as much as possible. Oh my gosh, the bombs. Well, they're not going to be that great because they are still only 250 pound bombs. They actually destroyed a turret. My turret top is at least three inches. How is a 250 pound bomb penetrating three inches of... That doesn't make sense. Does it? 250 pound bomb, three inches of armor. Could a 250 pound bomb even, even blow up a tank? <laughs> I mean, here's the questions. I guess it could have, you know, I don't know. Gosh. Well, it's 48 minutes. The aircraft are harassing the crap out of us. I hate to end this one because then... Let me try to push forward just a couple more minutes. We might take this over the 50-minute mark just because... Oh, God, what are you turning south for? I don't want to, like, go through the scouting whole thing again where we don't have we don't have identifications on these targets waste precious minutes while their aircraft are getting refit etc etc please tell me this bedovi's dead yeah looks like she's finally down okay so you just don't fire then for 10 minutes or so actually how much ammunition do you have you wow you you have gone through some ammunition there's only, I mean, there are two destroyers left, three destroyers left, so I don't, I don't want to waste ammunition. Panther is just a decoy. Oh, you do not fire at that thing, no. Ten minutes. Uh, okay. Well, this is... Well, look at that. We have some airships coming in to strike us. I w now, here's a real question. Dual purpose guns, I bet that those would be devastating against airships. Slow moving airships where you could just hone in on flak burst explosions. Like that sounds like a terrible, terrible thing for, for airships. Still, it's very cool to see them here. I just don't, wouldn't hold up much. I mean, unless they were bombing from altitudes, which are impossible to hit from. I wouldn't hold up much faith that they get anything done. Anyway, uh, Pervinets, okay, 
This is already a dead ship, so the Nike shouldn't be firing at her. Um, we took a hit. Right now we just need to get the Bon Phoenix out of here. She has, um, well, minor flooding. She can get up to 13. Ah, well, let's keep it at eight. Don't mind. Yeah, just, I don't think that any, I mean, this is high level bomb attack on destroyers. Yeah, it's not gonna work out so well. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Let's put it that way. Let's bring you back. Um, seven echoes way over here. A little bit bizarre. Is this Potemkin sinking yet? She's still at 21. I mean, I would love to take her out, but there's just no opportunity for that. Okay, Panther, you can kind of tuck in now. All right, we have oh, hits on the Pervinets. It's just not what I care about. So it says we're firing our heavy anti-aircraft at the attacking aircraft, which is these high level. Well, I mean, if it's high level enough, it would be pretty hard to hit them. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, let's just move about it then. Shake a leg. Von Helm's Glam is finally back. I actually want her to be separate from the group because she's not doing too bad. And yeah, she's all, the only, she only has one hit. A coward. Um, yeah, you have pretty significant damage. And unfortunately, have not been successful hitting the Paracop. We're just keeping going. No, do not pick up survivors. Do not. Wait. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is amazing. She's still going. And she's right on cue after I say she's only got one hit. Gangoot finds the range. With only she's only firing two guns. Jeez. Oh man, I thought I saw I saw the red Oh! We've got her! Alright, fantastic. Change targets. So let's have you set ship target to, let's probably have you set it to the Gangoot. Just haven't done enough damage to her to keep her from hurting us more. So let's change fire. Yep, there it is. And the Vaughn Phoenix is just awesome. Just fantastic, doing her job. Landing hits still, scaring them off. What does it say? Medium damage? Hmm, I doubt that, but hey, at least we got one of these. One of these efforts. <laughs> that makes me really happy. 9100, are these all the same? I assume they are, yeah, 9100. So they say they're a different class, but they aren't really. Anyways, we'll put the, we'll draw that to a close here. That was a lot of fun. Just wanted to get those, actually, you know, I still want to get those few extra hits because again, we'll lose them after the identification period immediately after this. Per Nike, stop targeting the damn Pervinets. You'd be better off, seriously better off targeting the Bedovi. Um, it says you're targeting the Gangoot, actually. Those are only your four-inch guns. Okay, fine. Your four-inch guns do, can do whatever you want. And there's a Gangoot hit. All right, this, uh, this von Salzburg, despite all of her damage. This is a nine bomb hits. My God. It's finally finding the range against the Gangoot. Oh, yeah. And finding it well. Oh, no. This is the... Oh, we're all firing at the Gangoot. And more enemy aircraft are coming in, so we need to get as many hits in as possible. I mean, these are going to be definitely penetrating hits. Are you targeting? So you might not want to target the Gangoot. Technically, there's... No, that one's a goner. This is the... It looks like she put her fire out, but with heavy damage and fire and everything, I believe that her... Uh, I, th I think she'll be incapable of flight operations, which is good enough for me. I don't really care about sinking her. It would be nice to at least disable her flight operations, which is what I imagine we've done. And yeah, this is a, just a, a breakout now. I think Von Salzburg might end up doing some bad things to this Gangoot if she doesn't turn back. And we have other alternatives beyond that. 
um, destroyers with some torpedoes. What's coming in? Another nine torpedo bombers. Well, that is certainly not good. I wish that the two princes were closer to each other. They would help out a little bit better. I might just have to say no to all. I mean, this is a get in, get out mission. Still landing hits on the 16 inch shells on the Gangoot, which means I don't want to end the episode yet. Um, Gangoot hit the Prince von Salzburg, but she couldn't penetrate to her top. That's fantastic. And another 16 inch shell hit for her troubles. Eventually, I think, oh, there goes her, we just blew up her, her forward turret. Fantastic. I was going to say, eventually, she's going to be getting some hits here. Um, she's still firing, and the Prince von Salzburg did a penetrating superstructure hit. Um, but we have landed another 16 inch shell. What is she even firing at us? There are no turrets pointed in our direction. The only turret... Oh, th th it's the light guns. Oh, wow. I think we might have actually eliminated all the guns that she can bring to bear right now. Von Helm's Clam is still not able to fire by my order. If we're able to do some serious... Okay, I think this might be a good time for um, the Von Helm's Clam to open up her guns. I just If I knew that this Potemkin was going down, then we would be in a lot better shape, obviously. Okay, let's have you just hold your fire for now, 10 minutes. Probably not going to do very much over there. Okay, 9-inch shells and two 16-inch shells. Oh, this is fantastic. See, I, I just can't end the episode until we stop hitting. Another one and two 9-inch shells. At this point, her rear gun is um, is disabled. Another 16-inch shell. I mean, this is just... We're wrecking her. Slowly wrecking her. Okay, the Potemkin is now aiming, taking aim at the Von Helm's Clam. I have to keep going. I have to. Another 16-inch shell. Oh, we destroyed the middle turret, and the rear one is disabled. Okay, then that's it. That we're given the order. Open fire, and close. She's got nothing left. 16-inch shell, 4-inch. My Helm's Clam. You're targeting the Gangoot, that's perfect. We don't need to close the range too much, frankly. We just do something like this. Uh, there's nobody over here. So the worst thing is that the torpedo bombers might go after the Von Phoenix. I'm going to have to speed her up just to try to avoid that. But for now, I'm going to bring it to a close here. We've done an excellent job. Okay, one more minute. Oh, fantastic. And the Von Helms clan is starting to bring, find the range. And her guns, medium guns, cannot penetrate. We're in really good shape. And she is finally starting to turn away. And guess what? <laughs> As she turns away, she actually has a possibility of bringing the only gun that isn't destroyed to bear. The only main gun. So we're in really good shape. Just, if you can't destroy the ship, you can at least destroy her armaments. So, we'll catch you back for the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.